Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the one compartment model. One compartment open model for IV bolus injection. This is also called as a IV slug. Yes, L U G slug injection. So here name itself indicates one compartment. So total entire body. See the hand here. Entire human body. We are considering as a only one compartment, just like a one box. Okay, one box. That's it. So when you give a your through IV injection a drug to the entire body to the box, what will happen to the drug kinetics? That is we are going to be study in this uh, uh, video, right? Okay. So IV bolus injection. These are the topics what we are going to be cover. What is a model for this? What is a description? And uh, equations using uh, for calculations uh, using this model and graph for this model as well as a derivation of the equation also. How to derive the equation? This is the first one. So we are imagining our body as a one compartment. Okay, very good, excellent. Now we are giving an IV injection here. See here, injection is there. So we are giving an IV injection to the box immediately at the zero time itself. Entire box will be full of drugs. See here, drug, all the drug, it came into the box. See here, at the zero hours itself, within a one minute, you are giving an injection, not more than uh, one or two minutes, maximum three minutes, actually, IV uh, bolus injection. Generally, in generally, they are giving you within a one minute, uh, one and a half minute. Okay, so that we are not at all considering. It is negligible. So within a fraction of a time, fraction of a minute, the entire drug will enter into the uh, box. That is the one compartment. Okay. Now what happened? This is at zero hours that we are taking as a zero hour. At zero hours, the entire box is filled with the drug. Whatever you have given, 500 mg, 600 mg, whatever it may be, it came here. Now only elimination will be there here. There is no absorption. Since we are giving a directly the injection into the systemic circulation, there is no absorption. Only elimination will be there. Due to the elimination, see here, due to the elimination, what happened? It becomes a reduced. See here, concentration of the drug is reduced here. After two hours, it is still reduced. After three hours, it is, see here, still reduced. After four hours, it, so like that. As time is increasing in this direction, cons amount of the drug will in the body, or concentration of the drug in the body will go on reducing. Initially, all of a sudden, all of a sudden will come. That is the, this, don't write in the examination. This is for your understanding purpose only. This is the model, actually. See here, one compartment open model for IV bolus injection. This is the model you have to write as a heading and you have to write this as body uh, tissues, blood and uh, other body tissues, uh, organs, either it is a highly perfused organ, uh, low perfused organ, organs with a high blood supply, organs with low blood supply, different varieties of tissues, different varieties of organ, all are we are considering the same. All are behaving the same like that. We are imagining that description you have to write in the exam. See, entire body is considered as a single compartment. See here, only one compartment. Okay. High perfused, low perfused, all organ varieties of tissue are considered as a uniform, equal, no differentiation in this connection. Since it is IV injection route, drug is directly entered into the blood. So we given directly entered. So no absorption is involved. So that's why here we are, not, I am not writing KA absorption because there is no absorption at all because it is a IV root. No absorption at all. So no KA. KA will not exist. KA is nothing but absorption rate constant. KA will not be exist. Only the here KE will exist. Elimination will exist. Elimination rate constant will exist. No KA in this model at all. Don't bother about that. Okay. Now, since it is given in the term open, see why we are using the open. Open means always elimination will be there from the box. See, see here I wrote from uh, box elimination, I wrote here arrow mark. If I am not showing this arrow mark also, then you can say it is a closed system. Since it is an open system, elimination is there since it is open so that absorption uh, not there directly drug is entered and due to it is a open system elimination will be there okay that's why open means elimination is there open no uh, closed system means no elimination 
elimination always follows the first order that point you have to keep in your mind first order it is always also called as a linear kinetics i already ex explained it in my previous video Re rate of reaction order of reaction elimination wherever it comes it follows the first order also called as a linear kinetics number of times it was appeared in the question paper all these points you have to write in the examination model number 1 Number two, description. Write neatly in the examination pattern and neat uh, spellings, okay? And handwriting, it must be good so that you will get a good score. And now you come to the equation. Actually, there is only one equation, but forms are different. Three forms are there. This equation only we are using to calculate the amount of the drug. After giving, see, you have given IV injection to the patient, okay? After half an hour or after one hour, after two hours, for example, say doctor will tell you to the pharmacist at after five hours, what will be the drug concentration in the body? The doctor will ask to the pharmacist, to the pharma student or B pharmacy student. You have to explain after giving an injection, 500 mg injection was given. After five hours, what will be the concentration of that amount of the drug in the body? You have to calculate by using this equation. Only one equation is there. See here, exponential form. This is x is equal to x0 e to the power of minus ke into t. Ke means we know very well this is an elimination rate constant since we are using a minus here because always, always elimination go on decreasing. That we know very well. So amount of the drug will be go on decreasing. So t, t is nothing but a time. x is nothing but the amount of the drug present in the body at a time t. x0 is equal to amount of a drug present in the body at a zero time. It is nothing but a dose. At zero time, full drug is there, no? Full drug you have given. So 500 mg, it is nothing but a dose of a drug, right? Uh, so that we can see, if you know the elimination and the time, five hours is told, no? Doctor told, so this is a five. Elimination rate constant of that paracetamol drug, you have to uh, get it from the Google. Initial dose, 500 mg of the dose given. Automatically, you can calculate. After five hours, five hours, what will be the concentration by using this is a simple equation. All the values we know. K, you have to get it from the Google. What is the elimination rate constant for the paracetamol? 500 mg, here paracetamol is there. T is nothing but a time. After 5 hours, SAR told. So 5 is a time. After 1 hour means 1, like that. Integration, same only. Integration form, if you are taking LN or IN, we are calling it as a integration. X is, is equal to same, X0 minus here. Exponential form means E comes here. Here it is not exponential. So minus ke into t it comes. Same only, almost same. And logarithmic form is there. See, this is a logarithmic. You can find out the amount of the drug present in the log x. x0, same only. x0 minus ke into t to the power t divided by 2.393. It is a constant. We know ke uh, from Google, you can we get it. t is after 5 hours. Okay, like that. If doctor told to calculate the concentration, here concentrate, amount, this is X is nothing but amount of the drug present in the body. C is nothing but a concentration of the drug present in the body. So all these are the equation used to find out the amount of the drug present in the body after two hours or three hours or five hours, what will be the fate, what will be the amount of the drug. Yeah, graph. Easy, very easy graph. Graph. <clears throat> Elimination rate constant, if you are not able to get from the Google, KE, the, because initial dose you know here, T also we know after 5 hours, like that. KE you can easily calculate from the graph. This is the graph, very easy graph. See, here you can see the time, x-axis, time. Y-axis is the concentration. So all of a sudden, suddenly there is a high concentration. See here, concentration is initially 100%. Initially, so there is no absorption phase in this curve, no absorption phase, only elimination. So initially high amount of the drug. Here also you see, this is a log concentration, same concentration only, we have converted into log scale. That's it. Both graphs are same. This is a concentration versus time. This is the log concentration versus time. Why we have to go for log concentration? What is the necessary? Because to find out the slope. Here you see, Curvature is there so that you cannot find out the slope very easily. See, if you want to remove this curve for the same values and you, you want to get the strike line, then you convert into log scale. That's it. 
all the values here convert into log draw the graph so that's why this is called a log scale semi log plot so you will get a straight line where slope you know y2 minus y1 is equal to uh, x2 minus x1 you know very well slope is equal to minus ke into 2.303 okay like that so if you calculate the ke will come once ke will come automatically you can put the uh, things in the equation and you will get the answer what will be the thing so this is the uh, regular plot or uh, uh, cartesian plot cartesian cartesian plot only decreasing is there curvature is there since it is a first order zero order means you will get a straight away no no need to convert into log scale zero order here only always ke is always first order ke is always first order okay that's why in order of reaction i have already told you curvature will come in the first order first order okay if you want to strike line you can convert into logarithmic that's why this is also called as a first order is also called as a logarithmic kinetics logarithmic kinetic since exponent is there it is also called as a exponential kinetic see here e is there mono exponential kinetic because one is there here e to the power of minus 1 into ke t okay this already i have explained in the rate of reaction order of reaction so with the help of this you can easily calculate the uh, slope ke value with the help of that we can uh, that is more than enough for the examination if you want to derive the equation we will derive same only see where this is the basic equation see this rate of a drug presentation to the body is equal to dx by dx by dt is equal to, this is a rate of change of the amount of the drug present in the body is always this is basic equation from this only all compartment models we have to be derive the equation from this only rate in is equal to rate out it is constant rate in is nothing but availability rate out is nothing but elimination okay very good rate in minus rate out is equal to rate of change of the drug amount of the body okay right here what happened rate in is equal to zero because it is a injection iv injection within a fraction of 1 to 3 minutes the in, entire injection is is we have given so time is negligible rate in is negligible absorption no absorption phase that's why we are keeping it as a zero so when you keep it as a zero minus rate out only come so minus rate out rate out we know very well ke minus ke into x is nothing but a rate out rate out okay rate in is equal to minus ka ka into x that is a rate in that's it okay and on integration this equation dx by dx by dt is equal to minus ka into x on integration if you do the integration you will get this equation see all these equations i have shown in the same only here all these equation only it comes so it is a very simple derivation in the textbook they have made it very complicated but i here uh, for you i made it as a simple this is my next video one compartment open model for iv infusion not injection right